Hello YouTube, it is Everything Pan here, back with another video, and today we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 7 Build 6519 in VMware. Now this is the Milestone 1 build of Windows 7, and there is a pre-Milestone 1 build before that, which is build 6469, and um, I haven't been able to get that to work because the... ISO is uh, cor not corrupt, but it gives a blue screen every time you try and boot it up in VMware, for example. So um, we're going to skip to 6519. I'm going to try and get 6419 to work as, or 6469 to work as much or as best I can. And uh, if I get that to work, I'll be sure to get that uh, tutorial out to you guys as soon as possible. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. So there will be links in the description to download um, VMware, if you do not have it, WinRAR, and also the Windows 7 6519 ISO. So, um, and this is a 32-bit version of the beta build, so um, just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up VMware here. We're going to... Uh, Create a new virtual machine. We're going to do the typical installation. Click Next. Now, I believe if you try and browse for the ISO and you say uh, install from an ISO image, it's going to, well, the first build detected it as a Windows 10 for some reason, even though it's not. Um, but this one says cannot detect. So go ahead and uh, click Next. And then it's going to ask which version. And do um, go ahead and do Windows. You can do either Vista or 7 because it's really basically going to look a lot like Vista. I'll just do seven just for the purpose of this and click next. And then in the machine name, we're just going to call it Windows 7 build 6519. And then we'll click next. And then uh, I'm going to bump down the size to the virtual box default of 25 gigs. You really don't need 60 gigs on this unless you're using it for something. We're going to store the virtual disk as a single file and then click next. And then we're going to customize the hardware. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to bump it up to 2 gigs, even though it is a 32-bit operating system, um, and it can hold only 4. And then we're going to click Finish. And then it should create your machine and bring it up here. Um, now remember, I'm using Workstation um, Pro rather than um, Player, for example. I'm using Pro. It shouldn't be much different between the two. And then uh, after it's created here, all you got to do is just go ahead and power on the virtual machine. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to not do that because you're going to have to be ready to do something right off the bat. When you click power on, you're going to have to repeatedly click inside the machine, like in the middle, and you're going to need to um, repeatedly press uh, the F2 key. So what you're going to do here, you're going to power on, repeatedly click, and spam F2 until you get into the BIOS setup utility. And then when you're in here, you're going to need to type in this bio state. So this is why we're in here. And you don't need any sort of MS-DOS ISO because uh, VMware actually has its own BIOS where VirtualBox does not. Um, so we're going to type this bio state. It's 12 tab 21 tab 2007. And then you can hit enter. And so it's December 21st, 2007 for the bio state. And then go ahead and click F10 to save changes and exit. And then enter to select yes. And then we'll boot up into the ISO here. And you can see it looks still just like Vista it will, um, with this little background here. And you can see um, down below it has changed a little bit with this little loading bar. Um, I don't have my cursor up so you can see it. There it is. Um, this little bar down here, it's kind of a little loading bar, um, which is new. Um, and then here it's going to bring you into the setup. And... Uh, when we're in the setup here, it's going to take a little bit, and it's uh, as you can see, it's still going to say Vista, um, even though this is a build for Windows 7. So choose your correct language and keyboard layout and click Next, and then click Install Now. It will say, please wait here in the middle. And it's going to ask for a product key. You do not need one, so click Next, and then uh, click No here to skip the product key activation thing. And then you can select any version here that you would like. I'm just going to select the Ultimate Edition and click then you need to check the I have selected the edition of Windows that I purchased and click next. 
And here you see now it says it's a Microsoft pre-release Windows 7 operating system. So now you know that this is a part of the beta. And then we're going to accept these license terms and click next. And then we're going to do a custom installation. We're going to do the only drive for an allocated space here, disk zero, 25 gigabytes. Make sure that's highlighted and click next. And then it's going to go through the process here of doing the normal installation like in any other Windows, you know, copying files, expanding files, installing features, installing updates, and then completing installation, which will take a restart or two to complete. So just let this sit here for a little bit. It's going to take a little bit to uh, do the expanding files part of this. So um, just let it sit here and do its thing. And I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back with you guys once we hit our first restart point. So here we've hit our first restart point. So you can either let this go or you can click the restart now button. And it will reboot. And then you'll see here it will come up with this uh, little loading screen thing here again. Um, you see the little progress bar um, over there. And uh, it'll take a little bit here and then it will come back to the screen here. It says setting up your computer, configuring devices, and then it will pop up here with the uh, completing installation part of it again. So um, you're going to need to let it sit a little bit more. Uh, it's going to do some more setting up of this. And um, and then it should come up to another restart point. It should be the last one, actually. And then it will get you into the part of uh, setting up your uh, username and uh, computer name and all that good stuff. So like I said, just go ahead and let this sit a little bit longer, and I will be back with you guys once we hit our next restart point. So here we are on to the next restart point here, and um, it'll say restarting your computer and have this little loading circle here. So, um, and then it will see it restarts the machine, and then uh, should eventually pop up here with the setting up computer, checking graphics. And then it will load for a little bit. And here we go with picking a username, picture, and stuff like that here. So I'm just gonna type uh, for the username. I'm just gonna type epan. I usually like to pick the dog as the picture. I'm a dog person, I love dogs. Don't have to have a password, it recommends of course you have one, but you don't need to. And then I'm just gonna call the computer name win76519 with the dash in the middle, kind of just like how I do it in case I keep the machines up. Um, pick a desktop background if you'd like, otherwise I'll just choose this one by default and then click next. Um, just do the recommended settings. You can do whatever you want here. This is kind of just a pick and choose your own thing um, time zone next and then uh, choose it's more than likely a home location that you're doing this in um, could be a work location might be a public location you never know um, so it's gonna take a little bit and um, it's gonna be a lot slower than any other normal operating system it's a, it's a beta operating system so it's not gonna work fast obviously so um, and then it's going to ask to create a home group. You do not have to do it. I mean, it's going to say skip because then if you create a passphrase, yeah, we'll just skip it and then thank you. So then we'll click start and then it should pop us up into a There you see, it says Windows 7 Ultimate. And uh, it'll take a little bit the first time to log you in. So you see they have changed it to Windows 7. It's no longer Windows Vista down here. Um, and we will see if uh, anything else on the desktop or anything like that has changed either. 
Um, it may have, it may not have, we'll see. Uh, there's now it's preparing your desktop and after a little bit here hopefully it should get you to the desktop just taking a little bit on its first time so now it's finally trying to kind of load itself into the desktop and you can see uh, if you can tell on the white text here in the bottom right says Windows 7 build 6519 uh, evaluation copy um, so it's setting up personalized settings for certain applications um, which hopefully shouldn't take too much longer Oops. and uh, Man, that's just taking its sweet time. This is what happens with beta builds. They do not work fast at all. So just keep letting it sit here and trying to think a little bit. Okay, so that was nothing that I did wrong or that you guys would have done wrong if it sat there for a while for you guys. I just did a, I just went up here and clicked restart guest and then uh, it booted up and it logged me in just fine. So um, that just must be a bug in there thing that it takes forever for it to do it. But here you see Windows 7 Ultimate. You get some... Uh, gadgets here on the right um, and you see that this is blue now instead of a green color I believe it was in Windows Vista um, you see Windows 7 Ultimates uh, and then of course it has the build down here Windows 7 uh, and if you do the Winver command it will pop up with this so that is how to install Windows 7 build 6519 in VMware thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below if it helped as well um, leave comments for future videos and do not forget to subscribe and turn on the bell if you have not done so. And I'll see you guys in the next vid.